the thing that business owners need to realize is that a shift has occurred. You know, when if we take just, for example, the idea of digital transformation, there was a, a guy in the a guy a professional in the healthcare industry, and I can't remember his name, but he he threw out that they had six years of digital transformation in 10 days when COVID hit. And it is it has produced changes in consumer behavior, it has produced changes in, in employee behavior. Uh, we had employees that uh, worked from home at the beginning of COVID and they hated it. And with, within weeks, they, they become proponents of, they just love it. They're cheerleaders for working from home. You know, at the beginning of COVID, uh, you know, maybe in the April timeframe, we saw these early metrics about working from home and what it, what the future was and what kind of, what people wanted to do once COVID ended. And, and what we've seen consistently is that those metrics have gone up and up and up all the way to the last metric I've seen was 99% of employees want to work from home some of the time when, when COVID ends. Before that, it was 96%. Before that, it was 86%. And the metric just keeps going because people's behavior are, is changing. And, and you know, we, we've, we've all heard the notion that it takes 60 days to break a habit. Well, COVID kind of punched us in the face and said, change your habits. And those, those, those shifts are, 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 are not just going to, to go back to normal. When COVID does get more under control, you know, we are going to see more people going back to the office. But people still want that experience of working from home. There is a, there's absolutely a productivity gain uh, from working from home. But the challenge that a lot of people are, aren't set up for is that there are different technology strategies. There are different, um, uh, there are different technology uh, tools and resources that have to be implemented and used to maintain a, a vibrant culture, to maintain great collaboration, to maintain great uh, connectedness with the, within the organization. You, know, you can't just separate everybody into their own islands and not see people and not, uh, you know, not to maintain that culture. You have to have tools like we're using now, you know, where you can see people's faces and where you can, you can understand their emotions and, and tools that allow project management and collaboration to happen without needing to gather around a table. But at the same time, when you're in this moment of, of a hybrid situation where you have a good portion of your workers working from home and, and, and some people working in the office, that is where things get difficult. Meetings are much harder in, in a hybrid situation. Um, you have people that uh, will tend to just go talk to somebody instead of maybe when you're all working from home, you'd get on a group chat and so everybody's informed. You have meetings where um, in a boardroom or something, a conference room where you, people on the remote side may not be able to hear different people around the table uh, or people in the, in the room may not be able to see the people in the, uh, that are calling in that are remote. And so it's, it's vitally important that, that companies look at, you know, look at the future and recognize that things are changing and they need to start acting now on what are the things we're going to do? What are the tech, what's the technology? What is the, what are the systems that we're going to implement to maintain our culture, to maintain our connectedness, to increase morale and to just make a, an enjoyable experience for the employees.